Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as United Scandinavia. Uh, I can't remember where we were last time because it's been a few days, but most of our battle line is completely wiped out. We started um, building that up, updating some of our remaining ships, adding a few more cruisers, more destroyers, and more submarines because we lost a lot of those as well. On the air front, I we have starting to get air superiority over the Baltic. I think we already have it over the Jutland Peninsula. Oh, it's, don't we're just going to hold here and force them to divert troops up here? Maybe not much, but will help. Started, I'm going to start converting the Den Denmark over to maybe the V2. So we have some extra space marines. Long term, my plan is to start pu is to start pushing in towards Kiel and Hamburg. I'm going to wait a bit until we have a bit more of an army built up. Still have a few more of these um, regular infantry divisions here. Basically, after quite a few naval invasions around the place, I'm setting up this reaction force as a kind of... Setting this up as a kind of reaction force, I'm probably going to spread the rest out around, say, Sweden and Denmark. And at the moment, we're kind of in the waiting game. See how this goes. Well, we've now researched enough things with Cockums. That's so I can get some policies here. And out of all of these, Coastal Battlefleet means we, we get less range, but much cheaper. Normally for this, what I go with is um, Welding Specialist. It's just a flash, flat buff to our production outcome. This is more of a side grade, but I think it's what to go with. Ooh, now this I like. Baltic Sea hit. Get hegemony. So, light hull, like light cruisers, destroyers. Dockyard outpush. Cruisers cost less. They go with that. Now on the actual um so section welding that is our air doctrine tree fully fleshed out. Land doctrine still got a way to go. Not so much they need to much. For sea dot for naval doctrine. Probably going to go with the battlefield concentration because I have a lot of cruisers. If I carry, that's going to be useless. Hunter killer groups for being with subs, maybe. But what I ultimately want to do is get down to this to give our cattle capital ship armor off that. Closing airfield's not much use to me because warriors. This though would be once I get down there. On the sky front, we finally seem to have got air superiority over the most of the Baltic. I'm not sure how much of that is just the Germans moving all their planes to the eastern front, or the fact that I've started putting some anti-air around here as well. Building up a few on these places as well, just on the uh, Bornholm. Maybe I should push another radar here. I tend to saturate the area with um, radar towards in the later game. Ooh, let's see now. What's this? The Italians trying to land on my territory? 
Hop, toss. And this is why I have this small, very small army for a reaction force. What else we got then? They took a Porsche. Oh, damn. And technically, we are short of manpower now. Yes. Not so much to make a real difference, but more than to be annoying. So, I think what I'm going to do is convert the... change the Norway army to... Safeguarding Stockholm. And Ostergotland. Yeah, there was no way they were going to. the reaction force back here just to bolster them. Like, I wonder how many troops they've wasted on that. Let's see. Not very many. Like I think they're just try trying to play with us. Thanks to all the radars we have you can see we have a lot of enemy troops along the coast. Which means those are troops who might not necessarily be able to back here. Not sure how well that war is going for for the. So it's early on the Barbarossa. Ah, the new in Trondheim, Trondelag. I'm actually going to assign all my new ships to this one, just to get them onto the Iceland fleet, just to help them build up. We'll use up a lot of fuel, but actually short of that. Well, not. Empire is going to be a bit of a problem. I can do. Sure, I can reuse. Note to self. Do not do convoy raiding into the English Channel. Your subs will die. Ha 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 ha. Sabotaging infrastructure. That should um troll the Germans a little bit. I just want to go with next. Into 1943 soon. Maybe I should start with medium tanks there. You know, it's going to be a little bit behind. Not sure. As in, it's going to be a bit slower because we're. So the great thing about having a militia expert is sabotaging things are so much cheaper. Like this went down from 600 something to 518. 25% less. Yeah, 
gonna sabotage some of their some of the German infrastructure just to injure things a bit over here. The rest of the world didn't even notice this had happened. Maybe that um course I built naval base actually did something useful. Of course now they're gonna be stuck here because supplies. And I'll put those right up to the top. As it sounds, the only thing the Italians have now is Tripoli. So this part is going okay. Probably going to be a war breaking out here with soonish. Service or software actors. <laughs> Meanwhile, out in this end of the world, yeah, it looks like the Brits are holding far away. I'm not too worried about that. I'm worried about your step here. Oh, look. A single Italian infantry division is trying to assault our Duggan infantry in, in Malmo. Really? Come on, it. Please, just stop wasting people like that. And another Italian invasion in Gothenburg. Come on, Italy. This is ridiculous. I suppose they are keeping us on our toes. Still, it's just annoying that they keep doing this. We should start you know, pushing. Actually, what I'm basically waiting to do is get some medium airplanes to have some bombers. Mainly because I can use them to go after. Of course, the reduction in air doctrine is useless to me now, so. Hmm. That won't make too much of a difference. Yeah, these are kind of, might not be so useful to me. Oh uh, well. Hmm, sweet. Main tactic. Close air support, get that. Naval attack, ground attack. Naval bombers, meh. Ground attack just gets a flash X 10%. Honestly, I think this might be the better too. Ah, 26th Arm Division marched into Lothenburg, into Gothenburg. We get out of these experience soldier losses, experience gain, Out the climatization, not really going to be much of an issue. Speed, third division attack, it's always good, and extra experience gain. Hungary, give me your ciphers. So, massing for an attack seems to cause them to start dragging extra troops back here, which is probably going to draw some extra divisions off this front line. I think it might soon be time to start pushing. Of course, we can't do that without fully preparing first, especially since we're not in position yet. If 
question is, are they going to... Well, that's not unexpected. How fortuitous that I had the foresight to research the... try and break their cipher. Or just stage. We are getting low on manpower, so we may need to start looking at... And we have a shortage... Equipment... Expression and training. Let's see, I might actually remove one of these infantry battalions. Let's go back and see what the... Actually, delete. I think it's use two oh two. Yeah, I think this. I think if I do this, it'll it'll claw back some extra manpower. Lose it. Use less supply. Recovery rate minimal. Organization a little bit less. Less HP, but extra. Armor over and piercing overall. Well, 20 width is probably optimal layout. So that's. So we lose. Oh, we lose a good chunk of defense now. I think about it. Maybe not. Another thing I'm thinking of doing now. Or buff up the Jaeger a bit because they don't count towards the special forces cap extra support equipment work. Since um we do have hills and so we have hills, forests and forests in quite a lot of Germany, also plains, but nobody optimized. Because we have this where do we now have this technology called um it's Remember what, what where it was now. Basically, our Jaeger troops are even better than average because we went and got this. So Jaeger will do extra five percent attack defense, extra defense in forests and movements. I'm starting to think is that for these V two infantry, maybe replace one of these infantry with some Jaeger. They use more supply and they haven't got as good defense or breakthrough. They have some extra soft attack. But again, the defense... What am I talking about? This defense breakthrough is just minimal change. It does make them a little more expensive. Provides extra movement in attack and defense in forests, extra movement in marsh and mountain. Because attacking in forest, we have attack penalty brings it down to five point. I think that's actually worth going with. So what we need an extra thirty-five support equipment. At all. Or actually use Jaeger because when playing as Iron, because they're just. They're not much use to me there. Plus, oh, we've lost some oil. Right, some um, spare. America, you have plenty. Uh, we've lost air superiority again over the Upper Baltic, but not enough to really be worth doing. After I've got this, I might switch over to the um oh, didn't even know I didn't even see this before. 
Thanks. Thanks for aluminium, extra iron, extra military factories, extra facility. I never saw that. There, as I was about to say, I was I'm thinking of going for army training here just to just to but um get them out quicker, train them up quicker. However, I might also need to go into service by requirements. Or I could disband some of these units. Like, are we likely to actually need these guys anymore? Probably not. How much does this get us? We gain some extra manpower. Towed artillery, towed artillery, equipment and support equipment. Like, we're not short of any of these. Manpower. We need a short of. And anyway, so I got to actually design a advanced transport planes, medium airframe, they really go with the twin engine design because I don't need much more than that. Insert. Electronics, hmm, radio navigation, like these have, these don't take, make up a lot of weight, but they have strategic bombing. Air ground radar when na on naval strike. Uh, again, these electronics are absolutely minuscule in weight, but they provide a fair amount of strategic bombing, and that's what I'm going to be using them for. Let's see, tactical. We can't put another tactical bomber on because. Ah! Not know that was a thing. Like, I don't get tactical. Oh, maybe some torpedo mounting so they can do some naval strikes. But, um. Hmm, could I, I could add another bomb. Bombay. I think I'll pass. So here's our attack bombers. Start building them up. And I need so many factories on. For reasonably good um those. So this is going to be considered slightly risky because we have they have more troops than we. First, once I get some extra, once I build up the network cap a bit more, that should intel intelligence network a bit fish. Basically, having an intel, intel network reduces their entrenchment, reduces their planning, but they won't be as effective. It's all going to add up. Oh, there's a naval invasion targeting the Isle of Man again. The AI seem to love doing that for no apparent reason. Right, I'm going to disband the Iceland and Greenland units because not really much use to me. Granted, it's a little bit of extra manpower for places that simply aren't that critical to us. Take some of these off and rebuild, put them on the battle line, and merge up. And let's see how far have I gone with this? Maybe I try five. So I might just I might take a break. Level. So that's what I've got to so far. 
stands, it looks like the looks like the Germans are having to divert a sizable amount of troops here. Not enough to fill up this front line. They have to divert a lot of troops over here to kind of block us. Which means they've got less troops here on the front line. They're, I seem to recall them usually doing better than this. In the, in the southern France, well, Italians and Vichy France are pushing the uh, Brits and, and Americans back, though they seem to be running out of supplies. Playing in North Africa is always a pain, so if you are playing this game yourself, playing with the Allies, build as many naval bases as you can on this here and as long here as you can, just to get the supplies growing. Probably going to be nothing because the eh, all the saves took in, but we can get there later. So that's going to be it for now. Been away for a few days because I had. Using other things, but I'll see you in the next one. For now.